Slower. Come on. Let's go! Move it! Go, go. Whoa there, Roach. Come on. Run, Roach. Come on now. Slower. Take it easy. That's it, Roach. Take it easy. Faster. Ah. Echo Lane dead at the game. Hep, Avon, Ealba. What do you want, Wanderer? Go, go. Take it easy. The plea. Come on, Roach. Come on now. I am Medetta. As swift as a novice. Shall guide us straight to the 
I am Madata, Astroth as a Novigrad. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you? You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get a custom, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk here, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well. Show me where you're peddling. you to craft something for me. Morale holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? So long. Echelain dead at the game. Ep Avon E Alba. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. 
Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. What girl? This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain. Ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm-hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es soon the actin.
so fast. The plague! Faster. Monsters! Monsters from the swamp! Folk said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked. Ran clear off the road. We hit a bump. I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck. Devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Their roach. Cart tracks rode off into the swamp.
Hey there. Come on. Slow now. Whoa. Here's the cart. An arrow. Didn't mention this. Interesting. I should take a look around. riddled with arrows. Carts riddled with arrows. Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. Come on.
Come on, Roach. Take it easy. Oh, and you find the box? Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. Run, Roach. Do the fighting. Come on, I cover. <laughs> Gotta get him out of here. Wake up. See, can't run from the truth, not even on horseback. Now, who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gilmer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it, too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for a free north. I'm taking you to the Nelf Guardians. You're a murderer, not a soldier. And you're a traitor. There's a scaffold out there with your name on it. Hey, soldier. Waiting on a late transport by any chance? What? Yes. Corporal Lifnitz set out to command headquarters for medicine. He has yet to return, though he was due back several days ago. Medicine's here, in this box. And this is a three-in-one. Liar, thief, and your corporal's murderer. Plow yourself, mutant. Captain Peter will see to him. And you, Nordling, deserve our thanks. 
The medication will not save our men's lives, but it will ease their dying. Gotta say, I was kind of counting on a tangible token of gratitude. A golden, clinky one, in fact. I thought you acted from conviction, not greed. But if that is not the case, here. So you'll remember and tell others that Nilfgaard is generous with those who serve it willingly. <laughs> <laughs> 